Hey guys, you're back. Did you get your drinks ready? Because we have some juicy stories for you. Uh, we're back with Ivy and Gina and we are going to um, tell a fun or crazy or whatever dating story. Do you have anything like anything weird that happened like or really bad? Whatever <laughs> bad or Weird or, 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 really, or really good. Or really good. Which one do you want to hear? The really good or bad? Okay, let's yeah. start the yeah. bad one. Okay, yeah. the bad one. So, um, like I said, it's hard to date in LA. I felt like I dated all of LA at this point because it's just a small circle. Yeah. So I decided to talk to someone from I think Denver. Oh, okay. So this guy flew for one night to meet me and mm -hmm. take me to dinner. Yeah. Like, That's very sad. sounds good so far. Right. Good story. Yeah, yeah. good so far. <laughs> I was like, how sweet. But then he goes, okay, I'm going to stay by the airport at this hotel just in case you want to spend the night. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, I okay. don't even know you. So that's kind of like, okay, whatever. Um, yeah. We talked on the phone and he seemed like fine. He's actually stand-up comedian okay and you know like how that goes yeah <laughs> <laughs> um he i picked him up and he's like let's go to laguna beach i was like okay i love that place uh -huh. so go laguna i was driving at this point i came from a shoot i think so i told him i'm really tired i need coffee to kind of get going yeah and he's like okay we'll get coffee well he doesn't drink coffee so okay. i don't know if you do i do you know when you need coffee yeah you just really need coffee. Right. So I didn't understand that. Okay. He drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big deal. So we walked maybe 10 blocks to go to the pier with no coffee. And uh -huh. I'm cranky, hungry. Oh. At this point, I was like, I'm really starving. Yeah. Right? And I really need coffee. Didn't listen. Wait, Rule number are you one. walking that far? Oh, it was 10 blocks. He wasn't like, yeah, we walked. Like a hike. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying I missed that part. Why did you walk 10 blocks? Oh, because he thought it would be better to park all the way 10 blocks away from the pier. Uh, so, I mean, I was cranky, hungry, thirsty sure. at this point. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? We should grab coffee first. Like, I'm um, yeah. thinking. The guy's not listening, no matter what I said. Yeah. By the time we got to dinner, all I said is like, I don't feel the chemistry. <laughs> yeah, well, good. You were honest and open because then you're not making him wonder or anything. That's great. I'm oh, glad yeah. you did that. It's all about what he wanted to do. Yeah. Right. So I was like, absolutely. I, it got me into like the time that I was just say I'm over dating. Yeah. Like this is the kind of guys. Even though I went outside LA. Like, this yeah. Is my oh. So that was terrible. I think. But I think though, you know, there's a few. There's a few things you overlooked. You know, I yeah. think that. Did I miss something? It's great that he's gonna fly. <laughs> It's great that he was going to fly in to meet you, um, yes, exactly. but it's like he should have arranged his own transportation. He should have come and gotten you, and right. he should have a plan. I mean, he he was leaning heavy on you doing you yeah. know, a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. which, you know, it's not a bad thing, different strokes for different folks, but, you know, being who you are, the fabulous Ivy, um, and you would think flying in to see you, it's like he did one part of the one part of the puzzle, but then the other part of the puzzle, he just kind of went, Bleh. yeah, you know? yeah. And, and, you no. lost me. Right. Yeah. But then he also seemed, well, you're probably getting hit on by like, because we didn't meet on Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. He's like assuming, again, like all those guys are probably right. after you. And I was and, like, why is this a thing? Yes. And, and let me tell the guys out there, a lot of guys will act like that. They're like, oh, you're probably getting hit on by all these women and you're getting this and that. So they think they need to treat you bad or like if I act like uh, I don't care then yeah. you know they think that's the cool thing to do no. Um, no that's not how you act you still need to be sweet and loving and caring and giving it is a really huge red flag when a guy slides in to your DMs okay <laughs> does so what was that not, in the not the way me, this is not the way to meet a guy and I will tell you why if he is writing to you, he is writing to many, many ladies. Right. He's running it as a numbers game. Interesting. Okay? Oh, wow. I like would not have thought that. I'm throwing a bait out there. See how many fish he catches. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. And, and um, so then women will start dating and then be shocked that he was like a player or shocked that he was whatever. I mean, you know, this guy clearly didn't have a clue about dating. 
but he's trolling on women on the on the DM stuff. I had a guy just write to me on Facebook um, last week, and he was cute. He was like in Montana. Oh no, he was Ooh. in I. He was in Utah. He was in Sundance, Utah, wherever the park oh. Anyway, he was really cute. Mm-hmm. I was excited. Yeah. Um, but then, but then my matchmaking advice brain kicked in. Yeah. And I, because I saw that our mutual friends. We had a lot of like ladies in common as our mutual friends on Facebook. Oh, right. And, and we were talking a little bit, and, and he seemed cool. And I said, Listen, I'm going to ask you. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but are you one of these guys that, you know, slides into the DMs of, of the ladies? And, um, and he says, Oh, I just, I'm just looking to meet friends i'm not you know trying to blah 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 whatever you're saying well in the meantime i wrote to some of my girl the girlfriends the mutual friends we had and i said yeah. hey do you know this guy has he written to you you know mm-hmm. and and then uh one of them sent me some screenshots of the conversation and he had and and i said oh hmm. I, I wrote him back. I said, oh, shoot, I'm so bummed. I said, a lady loves to feel special. I said, but I checked with some of my lady friends, and it and you are that guy that slides into the DMs. Yeah. Wow. Um, huh, because yeah, I wouldn't he, have thought he that. Turned, he turned into such an asshole. Oh, well, was, good he, thing you dodged like, that bullet. Like, and you were listening know, to that inner self. He, went, he was furious. I think he was furious that I... Um, that I, you know, outed him basically, yeah. but like, it is almost always a red flag when a guy goes into your DM. So it's, that's hmm. not a good way to meet them. I do. Gosh, that's so great. See, <laughs> I, I would have thought, <laughs> darn it. I would have thought it's the opposite because I would have thought, oh, this guy has confidence. He's going to reach out and try. At least he tried. Like I would be thinking that like, <laughs> yeah. wow, you know, he's got balls. He's going <laughs> to. Wow. Yeah. So do you have um, some sort of a, a dating story or something in your experience from any of your clients or anything that... Um... Girl, do I have dating stories? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. I have so many dating stories. <laughs> but I am going to tell you, I'll, you know what, I'll tell you one of my favorites. So when somebody come, becomes a client, we start a brand new search, especially if it's in an area where I've never like stockpiled any ladies, you know what I mean? Like Dubai. Um, and so anyway, so so it was going to be a new search for him, and, and he knew it was going to take a little bit. But I said, listen, in the meantime, I, I know one girl in Paris, and she's a you know, model. I've known her for years. I said, she's not your type, doesn't look like your type, not what you've told me you wanted, but if you want to meet her, you can. And and then her, I just sort of told her, hey, he's a new client. Um, I would love if you could go and meet him and tell me what you thought about it. You know, mm, I didn't really yeah. want to tell her. It's a date. Anyway, so they went out, they went to lunch, they hit it off right away, like, you know, fireworks. And but here's the the best part of the story. And let this be a lesson to to everybody, mm-hmm. is that he, one of his main things was that he ended up always being with women who um, you know he said just sort of wanted their bills paid or, you know, wanted, I call it being on the payroll, wanted to be on the payroll. And, um, and so he ends up going out with this girl I set him up with and they really like each other. But what he did on the first date, and this is a mistake guys make. So I'm going to share with you a mistake guys make, and I'm going to share with you something women should do. That's that puts them over the top with a guy. Mm. So the mistake he made is, and as a guy, if you're a guy that feels like you only attract women who are materialistic and you constantly get in relationships with women who, who just want your money or whatever it is, you, you then fall into a pattern, like a lot of men, who that just becomes their first go-to. So they go to lunch, and, and this is a sweet girl who, who's not a girl that ever takes gifts or anything. Like She's not like you know a lot, a lot of ladies. And he's like, I want to get you Pilates lessons. I, I want to get you Pilates. And not because she didn't have an incredible body. She was like a real thin model. But just because right away he's used to trying to do that, right? Yeah. Financially kind of, you know, to do that. And and so she was like, Pilates? No, I, I don't want that. You know, and he's like, what? You want me to Are you calling me fat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, well, right. No, so he said that. that she's not. And so, but she just couldn't even get her head around. She said, Gina, I just didn't feel comfortable. Like, I don't even know him accepting a gift from him. And his mind was so blown that he met somebody that 
wouldn't accept his gifts. Yeah. That I think that was more likely what helped seal the deal uh -huh. and make him like her that much more. Yeah. Yeah. And then they ended up they ended up just being in this whirlwind romance and you know, I and I haven't talked I last I heard they were still happily in love and they were living in Malibu. Um but, you know, let that be a lesson to both men and women, right? If, if you're a man who feels like, oh, just women are constantly, like, taking everything you give them, then don't give it to them. Right. Don't, right. don't offer them lavish gifts so soon into a relationship. Just don't do it. Because yeah. otherwise, I'd say that it kind of is sort of like the crack salesman, right? You can meet a girl who's not on crack. And if you're the crack salesman and you're pushing crack in her face, she's eventually going to take the crack. And then you go, look, I ended up with another crack whore. Okay. Well, you created that crack. I want some so crack. crack. <laughs> if it's in the form of bags. No. Come and, on, Gina. And, and, and as a woman, and as a woman, one of the smartest moves you could ever make if you're dating a man who's super wealthy and he does try to give you gifts right out of the gate, you say no. Why? Because almost no woman ever turns down gifts. So if you do, now you become this beyond one in a million woman. You're like this enigma that's like, what? Okay. She doesn't want can that's you, the smart can you accept <laughs> can you accept the crack after you've been dating for a while? When that's what I want to know. When, when, when can like, we accept the crack? <laughs> You can say yes to the crack yeah, once after. you are are boyfriend and in girlfriend? a relationship. <laughs> what? Right? Huh? Once your boyfriend and girlfriend or what? I would say I would say once um I would say <laughs> I would say let me think. I'm stumbling on it. Because I mean, listen, I'm listen I'm hardcore because I'm just not like that at all. I I need more gifts. Well you haven't had enough crack, crack then. <laughs> I have not. I have not. Like the nicest gift I ever got was a pair of like, you know, five hundred dollar cowboy boots from Dwight Yoakam, and that was when I was a stylist. Oh, that's or cute. Dollar <laughs> dog from Fred Durst. But anyway, um, those are the nicest gifts I've ever gotten. And he was like my child, not Fred, but oh, the dog. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Although Fred's like a child too. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Yes, I think that if you're dating for a little while, let's say you've been dating for a couple of months, yeah. you know, and it's and and you know and and he wants to do so. At some point, you can't continue to shut him down right. because then his it's a fine line because then his ego for is going to be sure. like you know he yeah. wants he wants to do something nice for yeah. you, and there's nothing wrong with letting him do that. But I would just say establish from the get go though that you are a woman who cannot be bought. Yeah, there you and go. And as long as you've established that and shown him that, once he gets that, then you can take the Wait till date you. number two, okay, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> so for men uh -huh. out there, right, we, we know we want to tell them to um, be chivalrous. That's really important. Yes. Women like that. We like um, confidence. We've said confidence, uh, security. Yep. We want them to have a job. <laughs> uh, job's important. Uh, confidence, listening. stability, listening. You need to listen. And you know what? This all falls under one word. What? This all falls under the umbrella one word. Effort. Effort. A man yes. want, women want a man that makes Effort. effort. Yes. That's what we want. The, anything. The effort you know? can be in a the form. A man who makes effort mm -hmm. to listen, to do things for you, to just show up. Yep. Effort. So navigate yes. a no effort man. Yeah. Okay. So that's for the guys. And then for women, what are, what are the things we've learned about what the men want? Right? Uh, they want someone, uh, you said, smart with brains, uh, not the, seem the, like a gold digger. Like, yeah. <laughs> who has depth, who has depth, certainly. A woman who has depth, who's going to, uh, they want us women to share all of our accolades and, and things that, that we've done and accomplished, right? Not just looks or whatever it might be, not just surface no. stuff. Um, no. And anything else that, that uh, yes. men want? A woman, need, a woman still needs to maintain her femininity. 
and yes. still needs to be vulnerable and <sighs> playful. Yes. Playful and yes. flirty. That goes a long way. Yes, women, be vulnerable, playful, feminine. That's so that's important. Fun. And so many young girls, I feel, are losing that these days with the whole feminist movement right now. And they think that they have right. to be strong and manly and whatever. Like, no, still be soft and feminine with, when you're with your guy. And um, it's really I, important. You know, I do think 30 and above, mm -hmm. you know, as we go through life single, as we hit bumps in the road, as we have to work harder, as we're trying more in our careers and things, it, it just, we can't help as a woman become a little more masculine because mm -hmm. we kind of have to assume all roles for ourselves. Yeah. But at the same time, we, and it's not fair, life's not fair, ladies, yeah. but we have to maintain our spirit of still being playful yeah. and vulnerable yep. and open and fun. We Gotta hold so on to it. Well, thank you ladies thank you. so much for all these wonderful tidbits and your input. Um, Ivy, where can it's people... Fun. Yeah, it was. Where can people find you? Where On your Instagram yeah, I'm or... On social media, Twitter. It's just Ivy Tevis is the handle. And then Gina, where can people get your book? Where they can they find you when they want you to match make them and find them love? Okay. Follow me on Instagram at the Gina Hendricks. Yay! Well, thank you ladies thank so you. much. And thank you guys for tuning in. And please make sure you click on the little bell and subscribe. And then until next week, we'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, thank you.